Hello everyone. This is, <laughs> this is this is TV of Denmark. Where's our flag? Oh my God, we are tired. <laughs> um. By the way, guys, today we are going to continue our reaction for the Baby Metal. This and help it's a trilogy. Yeah, this is the third uh, part of our video, and I think this there are still twenty minutes, so I don't think we can finish this today. So what? Yeah. Then, yeah. So we need to make a last next week. Then it's not a trilogy. No. Okay. So, guys, uh, if you're new to our, our channel, you're very much welcome to subscribe our channel and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified every time we have a new video. So, let's wait to see the video. So, let's get started. This is Baby Metal, the unhelpful guide of Baby Metal. Part 3. Yeah, part 3. Other figures in the distortion music video, and are related to a comic released, Apocrypha, fictionally telling how baby metal came to be. So, there are said to be seven metal spirits that transcended space to the metal galaxy, which is the only place they can be seen and revealed as the chosen seven. They were lead by an invisible force to this dimension, known as the metal galaxy, which is formed when light and dark intersect. So all of that Okay, that's why you are some of you guys talking about Metal Galaxy. Now I okay. know. Yeah, <laughs> okay, thank you. This is video, it's really helpful actually. Leads us to the Metal Galaxy, which is the concept for their third and most recent album. We love a space theme. So essentially due to the fox god's divine intervention, metal spirits were sent out, some of which found their way to baby metal, and with this meeting, they made an odyssey to the metal galaxy. Whether this encounter was by accident or by fate, no one will ever know for a certain. All happens in the name of the fox god. So from 2010 up until 2017, Baby Metal performed as a trio at countless Japanese shows, eventually branching out to different areas around the world. Their popularity really soared in 2014 with the release of Meme Hit Give Me Chocolate. With the success of this song, they were able to branch out even more, and go on world tours. During this time they released two albums, Baby Metal in 2014, and Metal Resistance in 2016. The metal This is very interesting, mm -hmm. you know, how all this uh, information that we get. Yeah. Yes. Metal Resistance tour kicked off with a headlining show at Wembley Arena in London, and finished with two shows at Tokyo Dome, their biggest crowds yet. And now the calm before the storm. In 2017, Baby Metal held a concert series in Japan, known as the Five Fox Festival. As the name suggests, there were five festivals, ending with the Big Fox Festival shows in October. It was unknown at the time obviously, but the Big Fox Festival would mark the last time Baby Metal performed as their original three. December 2017 would be when Sue Metal turned 20, and so two shows were scheduled to celebrate this big event. The shows would be known as Legend S, or Baptism XX, to honor mm. okay. Sue's big day. <laughs> it was announced just before the show, that UE Metal had been advised by her doctor not to perform due to her poor health. However, the show must go on and all that, so Baby Metal performed as a duo of Moa and Sue. This was the first time the group had ever performed without a member. Yui's spot was empty, and the choreo was clearly the same as it had always been, just sans Yui Moa only did her lines and the songs, and the crowd helped sing Yui's. Part of the statement uh, so, about Yui... So it's, you know that these people, uh, their supporters are very... Uh, you, you can see that they are really into uh, BB Metal because though there there's uh, one member not in this uh, concert, but still they help them too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and they all need to know the song, so that's the true metal uh, fans. It's being supportive. Yeah. Supportive they're very supportive. Yeah. We reads 
quote, UE Metal is unfortunately not feeling well, and doctors have suggested that it is in her best interest not to perform. We regret to inform this unfortunate news and truly apologize in advance. We considered cancelling, but came to a final conclusion to hold these performances as scheduled end quote. Please take note of the truly apologize, and, in advance bits, as I have a lot to say about them in a moment. Legend S ended, and fans assumed everything would be back to normal once the girls performed again. But unfortunately, something happened before any new shows arose. 2018 began with a tragedy, as Mikio, one of the guitarists in the Kami band, fell from an observation tower while stargazing. He passed away as a result from his injuries on January 5th. Huh? Okay. Okay. My god, this... I think, yeah, I think some of you uh, uh, told I us... I heard that, that he was yeah. dead, but I didn't hear how. Yeah. This is very sad. Fifth. Baby metal song Starlight is considered to be a tribute to Mikio. And thus, we have arrived in the year of hell, that was 2018. <laughs> the new year did bring news of a new world tour, to being in Kansas City, Missouri in the US in May. Fans just assumed Dewey would be back, and performing with the others as no announcement was made otherwise. Remember that bit I said to take note of? Here's where it's relevant again. So it wasn't announced until after, yes after, that Kansas City show, that UE was still on a health hiatus, and would not participate in the tour at all. Mm -hmm. I was actually at this infamous Kansas- Yeah, it must be the, uh, very uh, serious health problem. Yeah? Yeah. They have been very unlucky. Yeah. Hmm. City show. It was dead ass my first baby metal show ever woo, and I can attest to the fact that the atmosphere was weird. No one had any idea that everything would be so different. They wanted fans to know about the change for Legend S, but decided to just leave us all confused as all hell trying to figure out what was going on. Unlike Legend S, the formations for choreography had changed, with Sue and Moa switching back and forth with one in front of the other, and Moa had begun singing all of Yui's parts as well. They were also joined on stage by numerous backup dancers. Don't get me wrong, it was still an amazing show and Sue and Moa deserve all the respect in the world for working as hard as they have to keep baby metal going, and keeping their energy the same as ever despite it's really, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it must be hard, you know, performing. It's very difficult, I think. Yeah, to, you know. Prefer. After all this. Yeah. Has happened. Yeah. yeah. The circumstances. I still don't understand why Koba, or whoever just abandoned the girls like that. Koba Metal. It was a war criminal. They really just threw them out there to a confused crowd and for what? They were terrified. Sue has literally said how scared they were for this show too, stating that she was afraid they would get booed or have things thrown at them, which is immensely sad. Fans reacted so poorly to UE being missing, just for the Legend S shows, that they had genuine fear they would not be accepted without her. If you were the type to leave annoying comments on social media demanding to know where UE was, I hope you feel like shit. Okay. Moving on. The tour continued, and while there was some anger and confusion still, it ended up going as well as it could. With the conclusion of this tour, there was a show announced for October in Japan, called Dark Knight Carnival. But just before this show was to take place, we got the announcement most of us assumed was coming. On October 19, 2018, UE Metal officially withdrew from Baby Metal, citing her continued health problems as the reason. At this point, it had been a full year since she had last performed with the group. Okay. That same. It is so. It must be very sad, you know. That, uh, she yeah. Could, yeah. Day, Starlight was released as a single, and again, many fans believe it to be a tribute to Makio and maybe even Yui also. I hope all the people crying in the comments on Instagram about Yui being gone. Or where's Yui now, that she cited the fact that she wasn't able to recover fast enough as part of what 18 was proving to be chaotic as all hell, and would be remembered as the end of an era. But everything ends 
Time keeps moving forward and so must we. So now on to the new era. And now, Dark Knight Carnival, Baby Metal's first show as a duo. This show is tied heavily with The Chosen Seven, which is why Moa and Sue appeared on stage with five dancers. It was also the first foray into the dark side of baby metal. Whereas Legend S was the light, Dark Knight Carnival is the opposite, the dark. Which, as we remember, are... This is, uh, this, this, this uh, group is uh, having uh, dif uh, different stages where uh, this, uh, this, uh, in this part it, it is very uh, sad that something happened to the Gatorist. Miko? Mi uh, mm -hmm died and then uh yui also couldn't that be back but... both needed in order for the metal galaxy to appear this dark side also gave us a completely new look for the girls in terms of styling old dudes who complained about this superior look are weak and will not survive the winter anyway one of the backup dancers for this show is Saya, who would go on to fill in Yui's old spot during shows in Southeast Asia and Australia. Way too many old dudes were also really mean to Saya for no reason other than she was in Yui's old spot. Saya, being 18 at the time. The nerve of this fandom sometimes, stop insulting young women. And don't make me tell you again. Sit down. But, because these shows were after Yui's official departure, they could definitively put someone in her spot as opposed to the US tour, when they reformed the Korea, to not look like someone else was where she should be. Saya was only the first to fill that spot. But for a while, several months in fact, there was nothing going on. And then. A new album was announced, to be released at some point in the year. Also, four new shows were set for June and July 2019 in Japan, Awakens the Sun Also Rises, and Arises Beyond the Moon, which would serve as Legend M for Moa's 20th birthday. And with these shows, we were propelled into the real new era of baby metal. And to support Sue Metal and more metal, three brave Avengers were sung by the Fox God. Today, one out of these three Chosen dancers will be selected, but who will be summoned is something only the Fox God knows. There were now going to be three backup dancers who would only the Fox knows. <laughs> yeah. Only the Fox God knows. Okay. Switch out in the third spot. Their names were never actually announced or anything like that. It was fans at the shows who figured out who they were and let all of us know. The Avengers never have mics, they just dance. And they are in fact considered new members in a way, especially considering Sue and Moa have spoken about them in interviews. About this new addition to Baby Metal. They are the Avengers. The Avengers. You know, yes. And uh, chosen by the Fox God. Hi, it's a kind of so, who are they? Day one of the Sun Also Rises show gave us our first Avenger, Weho. Day two, our second Avenger, Kano. And finally, Super Slipper Festival in Taiwan, gave us our third Avenger, Momoko. Now let's get to know these three. First up, Riho Metal, or Sayashi Riho. She was born on the 28th of May 1998. She is a former ace of the J-pop group Morning Musume, and is known to be a really good dancer. The general reaction to her performing with Baby Metal has been... <coughs> given her status as a J-pop icon. She graduated from Morning Musume in December 2015, in order to focus on other things outside of the limelight. She has been the Avenger at quite a few shows so far, including multiple in Japan, Glastonbury Festival in the UK, Brixton in the UK, numerous shows on the US and Europe legs of the Metal Galaxy World Tour, as well as the Forum Show in LA. Despite being an incredible dancer, she is very clumsy. <laughs> Oh. 
オスペアだけど<笑>今男性<笑>なんかこう<笑> She is also a ball of chaos But I think I have to stop it here because it's been、uh, 15 minutes. But it was a、uh, uh, good、uh, way to stop because it's,、uh, it's not sad. <laughs> yes, after, yes, after,、uh, yes. Because、uh, <laughs> after this part, three started with the very、uh, sad uh, information、mm. about the Gatorade and,、uh, and Yui. So, and now we get、uh, Rihu, Rihu, and I think this is、uh, funny. So, guys,、uh, we have、uh, learned a new information about、uh, Baby Metal, their journey, and、uh, it's very good that、uh, now we know a bit of information about、uh, how the Baby Metal、uh, evolved, how they started, and their journey. Yes. Yeah. How they continue. Yeah. Yeah. The journey very... also without those two members. Yeah. It's sad, but、uh, yeah. That was、uh, very interesting information to know and know them deeper. Yeah, so I、mm. think we have to continue the, I hope, the last part next week. <laughs> because <laughs> must be. it must be, I think that the video is very long. That was, this video is 40 minutes, so we should、uh, do, we have、oh, okay. to divide it、uh, into、uh, different parts. Four parts. Yeah,、though. so thank you for watching our reaction video, and I hope you like our reaction video. And if you have any suggestion, you can always write into the comment section. And I think that's all for now. And see you next week to the to our probably last part of our video. And you can always write、uh, comments and、yes, suggestions. And then we can continue making reactions on music, mu、yeah. new music, new music because we、Metal. have to finish this before uh, before. They、uh, have just released the yeah, album, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So we are waiting to it. So that's all, guys. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sayonara.